Hey, it's Rose here at Crack Comedy Festival in Oslo in Norway, where Dan Kitson, had, Daniel Kitson, has just opened uh, Friday's um, schedule with new material, a new show and new material. And he opened it by saying that he had nothing. And an hour and a half later for his sets are often an hour and a half later, he had um, entranced the audience, even though he was speaking in English and the audience Norwegian. And this show was a show that... Um, I found incredible and amazingly inspiring because Daniel Kitson was explorative, incredibly brave with some of not only the comedy that he was using but also the way that he was doing it. And um, anyone who knows Dan will know that a lot of his concepts, he takes them and then it's almost as if he knows no boundaries in intellectually how far he can go with things. And today we were seeing that more than I've ever seen it before in him. So he'd take an idea and he'd roll with it and roll with it and roll with it until that idea was almost inverted. And he's doing this not only with topics that are quite accessible, but also topics that were at times intensely personal. And he has an amazing insight, absolute incredible very bare and unforgiving in his approach to himself especially himself and so he was taking these situations and exploring them quite often in an interactive way with the audience and very often in a very vulnerable and bare emotive way and making them funny but not only funny also absolutely engaging and I felt many times during his set today that his genius was moving up to another level. It's difficult to explain because he's so complex and he's so clever and he's so raw and he's so rare. And in order to encapsulate these things, you have to have also um, a level of niceness and pleasantness about you, which he definitely does because he tackles all these profoundly important subjects like loneliness, for example, a difficult subject, and misogyny, which we've heard him talk about before, but the loneliness and the way that he tackled that was absolutely brilliant he was also very animated on stage as well at times anyway the long and the short of it is that by the end of the hour and a half set he had absolutely captivated an audience daniel kitson had captivated an audience speak who doesn't speak his language a lot of whom haven't seen him before or don't know that much about him because in the uk we know quite a lot about him and he had also managed to cap to capture an audience with material that not was not yet completed and that in, is amazing. And I personally think that what we're seeing with Daniel Kitson is that he's actually going up to incredibly yet another level as a stand-up. 